Hi everyone, today we have peanut butter company from Poland and in this video we will animate this project in Adobe XD. So let's begin. First of all I duplicate my artboard and on the first screen I move my element to the left, set opacity to zero. Now I want this element flew out behind the jar. Playing with other layers, scale out this circle, move some elements, rotate all this to achieve some interesting effect. Ok, now I need to choose my artboards and set viewport high for our desktop preview. I'm set 950, go into a prototype, choose auto animate, easy note, and duration to second. Let's see what we have. Ok, I like this animation and now I speed up this part because in this part I'm just playing with my layers. You know, you can rotate, change sizes, opacity, move up and down uh, to get more depth for your animation. And in one moment I decide that these nuts can uh, flow out from this jar and it look good and logical. This is final result for my first screen. Let's move on and create parallax effect. Now I duplicate my artboard and all what I need is pick my all layers on this artboard and just move up. For a parallax effect you need move your layers uh, to different height relative to each other on your previous screen and current screen. And when you have more space and height between your layers you will get more interesting parallax effect. I'm speed up this process because now I'm playing with layers. Uh, all the time I move to the right, to the left, up and down, scale some elements, every time move and check how it looks. Sometimes I move other layers on my project to get more space for layers that need to use for parallax. Of course, it takes some time, but I do this until I'm happy with the result. And this is final touch for parallax effect. Check how it looks. We can move on and let's create our effect for product card. Now I will show you how I create this hover effect for product card. We have background animation, button animation and product. We have default state and this hover state. And I'm recreating this. In Adobe XD, we have different states for components. I'm pick all these layers, right click, make component or Ctrl K, press Ctrl K. Now we have on the right panel our states. I'm add our state, and now we can switch between these states. 
I am choose default state, go into layers and let's create animation for our button. I have a rectangle, background yellow and duplicate this, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. I am pick these two layers and make mask, right click, mask the shape or Shift Ctrl M, press Shift Ctrl M. We have our mask open and again duplicate this layer. Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Now we have three layers. Our bottom layer, this is our mask. Middle layer will be our hover. I pick red and rename background red. Now let's create some effect like this. We need make it smaller and move to the left. Okay, all this we create in default state. Now we switch to hover state, choose same mask and same layer, background red, move to the right and make it bigger. Now we have our hover state for button. Let's see how it looks. We can press on desktop preview or just control enter. And we have our hover effect for button. Now let's create animation for background and product. I'm switch component to hover state. Go into layers and pick my border. Uncheck border and fill in yellow. Let's switch to default state. And let's see how it looks. Cool, we have background animation. Now we need white color for our icons and some movement for product. And again switch to hover state, go into layers, select icons and change color to the white. Select product layer and move down a little bit. It's done. We have full hover animation for product card. Switch to default state, control enter. And this is our hover state. Now we can paste this component in our project. And paste this component to the project and make parallax effect for product section. Now when we press desktop preview we can hover on our product. Now let's move on and create next section mass block. On current artboard I move all my layers up and on previous artboard move side element down. In this case we will have cool effect when we will see our centered layers at, at start and then we will see side elements. In this section I am using zoom image. This is simple mask with scaled image. How it works and some cool techniques and experiments with masks you can see in my previous tutorial Concept Electric Cars for Volkswagen. Don't be shy, check out this lesson and tell me what you think. This is simple mask and scale image. Now let's see final result for this section. For Instagram section I'm using same technique with side elements. Just move down and Check cool effect. Now I want to loop my animation with fade in yellow. I duplicate my last artboard and add simple rectangle in yellow color. Then I copy and paste on my previous artboard and on my first artboard with zero opacity. 
then for last artboard I choose trigger time with zero delay. Follow me on Behance, Instagram and Dribble accounts. Have a nice day and see you next time.